A full screen slider is pretty much uh, the same as a full width slider and uh, even easy sliders except it is a much larger image. It's typically 1500 by 1500 pixels and it just goes deeper. It covers m the entirety of most screens. And uh, so let's go on the back end. I'll show you how that works. It's right here under media elements, full screen slider. And if we go in and edit, we can see our slides right here. And we could see the size settings of the image itself, 1030 by 1030 or 1500s. 1500s covers most modern screen sizes. Uh, this is a scrolling option, so serving as a background image, do you want it to remain fixed in the background? Do you want to scroll with the text or create that 3D parallax, um, the parallax effect that you've seen, I'm sure. The slideshow transition, those are the options there. Do you want it to rotate automatically or not? You can set uh, the auto rotation to stop on the last slide or not. This is the duration of each rotation in seconds. And this is the slideshow control settings. So which controls do you want? Uh, if you want to hide them, you can as well. And uh, the scroll down arrow may be a little more helpful in a full width slider. You see this little animated arrow because people may or may not know that there's more to see down below. And, uh, and then this, uh, this is using the first slides caption as the permanent caption for all your slides. So much like the others, we go in and edit each slide. We can change the image. We can use a video slide if we want. And we can change our caption, caption size. Here's our subtext, the size for that as well the positioning of our caption, and what kinds of calls to action. So we've got two buttons, both of which are light transparent. So we've got the text on the button, the style of the button, the linking for the button, and this is all button one, and then button two, all the same information there. And uh, so we can set font colors, and we can do an overlay for the slide, and this is helpful uh, you can see this one is much darker uh, because it's 0.7 opacity. So if we want to make it even darker, we would go more to this end of the spectrum. If we wanted to lighten it up uh, without an overlay, obviously, is the image itself. But these are um, a level of darkness that we're adding because of this black color. If we change that color, then it would be more of a tint, right? And um, so that's an overlay that we can add to this element as well. So we've got our slides, we've got our global settings. Within each slide, we can manage these colors and overlays, things like that. And a really fun tool for, um, for, for you folks out there that have a lot of photographs, a lot of professional grade photography to showcase and you wanna make it very visually appealing. So a, a full screen slider element.